Well, the boy's kind of small. George Shrinks. But it doesn't show at all. George Shrinks. Because he's always acting tall. George Shrinks. George Shrinks, George Shrinks, he's called. If a problem should be found. George Shrinks. He's the boy to have around. George Shrinks. Something big or something small. George Shrinks. George Shrinks, George Shrinks, he's called. George Shrinks seems to find a way to make his dream. Come true each day. His brother Junior does a call. George Shrinks. Well, Dad blows a bugle call. George Shrinks. And Mama keeps an eye on George Shrinks. George Shrinks. George Shrinks. George Shrinks. George Shrinks. George Shrinks. typical Saturday morning for Junior and I, and we were spending it in our usual super productive way. Make way, boys and girls. Energize your engines and rev your rockets. It's time for Dash Smasher and his Space Pioneers. Yep, that's our favorite. Dash Smasher, gallant defender of intergalactic good. Of course, we've seen every Dash Smasher show a jillion times. We even know all the words, but that doesn't matter just makes it easier for us to play along. Won't someone save me from the evil alien Zootalor? Someone brave and strong like Dash Smasher! Of course, my robot was no glamour puss like the real Princess Nebula, but you gotta make the best with what you got. I'll, I'll save, save you, you Princess, Princess Nebula! Nebula. Time for Hyperdrive! I've been expecting you. Zutalor, you, you deep space ne'er do well. Unhand, Unhand Princess, Princess Nebula, Nebula, or face my righteous wrath. I'm afraid not, my dear Smasher. The advantage, you see, is mine. It's, it's a, a trap, a, a slime yawn, force field, the, the most powerful force field in, in all the galaxies. Do you, do you expect, expect me to, to give, give up, up Zutalor? On the contrary, my dear Smasher, I expect you to stay trapped while I escape with Princess Nebula and take her for my queen! <laughs> Whoa! You all right, Junior? Okie dokie. It, it takes more, more than, than a force field, field to hold me! Foiled again! I'll get you next time! Dash Smasher! Thank you. Oh, thank you, Dash Smasher. Actually, thank, thank you, you, Princess. My father will reward you with spaceships and all the gold you can carry. Space pioneers across the stars, helping all both near and far. My mission is to do good deeds and never stop till I succeed! Remember kids, if you love the Dash Smasher Show, you'll love the exciting and delicious Dash Smasher cereal. You know, Junior, I bet being a hero is the greatest feeling in the world. People cheer for you and want to give you parades and medals and stuff. Ah, <sighs> what a life. Hey, you know what? I bet there's plenty of ways we could be heroes right here. We just got to find them. How about it, Junior? Okie dokie. Make way, people of Earth. George and Junior off to save the day. <laughs> That's what Saturdays are for. Goofing off, watching cartoons, and saving the world. But you know, intergalactic supervillains and kidnapped royalty were in pretty short supply around our house. Hey guys, what's up? 
Ahem. Space pioneers across the stars, helping all both near and far. My mission is to do good deeds and never stop till I succeed. Dash Smasher and Space Pioneer Jr. at your service. Oh, yeah, the Space Pioneers. Huh, I didn't even hear your galactic space cruiser. Hope he didn't land it on Mump's flower bed. <laughs> <laughs> We're on a quest to become heroes. Do you have any dangerous tasks for Dash Smasher and Space Pioneer Jr.? Well, difficult, yes. Dangerous, uh, no. No, I've been stuck trying to think of an ending for my new song. Whoa! Look out! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, that, that looked a little dangerous after all. Uh, nice improvisation. Very intergalactic. You saved my day. Say, that was the big finish I was looking for. I'll call it Space Pioneer Symphony Number One. That didn't feel very heroic. I don't think anyone's going to give us a parade for that. You got any other good deeds for the Space Pioneers? Hmm. Well, you could go on a quest for my missing socks. I can only turn up one of each. Making the world safe from bad foot fashion isn't exactly the mission we had in mind. Sounds more smelly than dangerous anyway. Yeah, you got a point there, Captain. Come, Cadet. We'll quest upstairs to the kingdom of Mom. Maybe there we'll find a mission worthy of our, uh, strength and, uh, bravery. Mom, Mom, Mom. And so we journeyed on, hopeful that our amazing and heroic talents could be better used by Mom. She was bound to have something earth-shatteringly tough for us to do. Something daring, something dangerous, something really, really cool. Hey, Mom. Yes, George. <clears throat> Space pioneers across the stars, helping all both near and far. My mission is to do good deeds and never stop till I succeed. Dash Smasher and Space Pioneer Jr. at your service. Oh, my. Two handsome young space heroes. <laughs> we are in search of a task worthy of our strength and bravery. Nothing is too dangerous. Got any ideas? Well, you're just in time. I've got to prime these canvases. If you boys could help me paint them, I'd really appreciate it. Well, that's not exactly what we had in mind, but... Great! I'll run downstairs and get some more paint. It's not very exciting, but it's something. Me paint. You paint? You bet! Try to stay inside the lines. Pretend it's one of your Space Pioneer's coloring books. Fun, George! Fun! I'm glad at least you're having fun. Keep crawling, I'll get some more paint. I guess we didn't exactly save the day, Mom. Well, you did paint the canvases, and the floor, and the walls, and just about everything else. Here, let me save your day. Uh, don't you have any villains that need defeating, or any space princes that need rescuing? You know, life and death stuff. Well, you can save my garden from dehydration while I clean up in here. That's better than nothing. I'll be out to help as soon as I can. I... <laughs> So we ventured out under a blazing alien sun. Lesser heroes would have turned back, but not the space pioneers. If there was something heroic to do, we would find it. Ah, look, Junior. The ancient forest of Kirkle Five, withering under the heat ray of Zutalor. We must save them. What's that? 
flying blue yaclones from the planet Boonbok. It's just a mummy bird. She's gathering worms to feed her baby birds. See, there she goes. She's probably heading back to her nest. Ooh, mama. Come on, cadet. We gotta save mom's plants. Or, you know, the ancient forest of Kirkle 5. Turn the tap just a little bit, Junior. Okie dokie, little bit. That's right, a little bit. Little bit. Uh, that's not a little... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! of Kirkle Five are saved. Well, thank you. The flowers look much better. But I can see a space pioneer in need of a bath and a nap. Me, muddy, me, hot fun. You're going to have to get along without your sidekick for a while. Goodbye, Cadet Junior. Now, a captain without a crew or a ship is just a guy in a cool suit. So now what am I going to do? Get away from there! Hey, help, help! Aha, sounds like someone's in need of a hero. Oh no, go away, shoot! Shoot, you nasty cat! Get away from that nest! Get away from there! Space pioneers across the stars, helping all, both near and far. Mike. Look, I'm sure you're a nice little alien, but right now I'm trying to save that baby bird. Actually, I'm George. I live here. I came to help. You want to help? Try and scare away that cat. Look, Look out! Oh, no! Gotcha! Good catch. Thanks. That sure is a nasty cat. You got that right. Sparkle Tangerine has been trying to make an hors d'oeuvre out of me for years. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. So you're George. I've heard about you. You're kind of famous around this neighborhood. Wow, you really are tiny. Well, I'm a little short for my age. But hey, I think big. I can see that. So, George, what else do you do besides fly around and act like Dash Smasher? You know who Dash Smasher is? Of course! It's my favorite show. I'm Becky. I just moved in next door. Wow. Nice to meet you, Becky. So what do you think? Can this little guy get back home on his own? I don't think so. He looks so young. I don't think he can fly yet. Well, I can. I'll fly him back up in my supercar. Well, we better do it soon, before his mother notices he's missing. If you can help load him in. We're gonna rock it back to your nest, Space Pioneer style. No! Not the... Ah! if you're okay. You know what the space pioneers say. Any landing you can walk away from is a good landing. Safe in here. I dug these tunnels to be cat proof. 
Uh, Go play in somebody else's sandbox. Thanks, Becky. We were almost cat food. Are you guys okay? That was some fancy flying. We're okay, but I'm not so sure about the Zupra car. Uh, well, it doesn't look so bad. If I just straighten out the hood and... Give it a complete overhaul! Practically rebuild it from booster to nose cone. Then maybe I can get it to fly again. No more rocketing back to the nest space pioneer style? I'm afraid not. The super car is grounded. Then it's a good thing I've come up with plan B. Plan B? Plan Becky, come on. Is this everything we need? Yep, have you got your parachute? Check, never leave the launch pad without one. What are we going to build? Don't you worry. I'll show you. Almost there. It's okay. She can't get you up here. Oh! Be careful! <gasps> Whoa! Houston, we have a problem! Gotcha! George! Are you okay? I think the only thing hurt is my pride. I'm glad you're all right. I'm okay, but my butterfly net isn't. That's a cute little chirp you got there. Hey, let's call you Chirpy. <sighs> this would be much easier if you could just fly home. That's it! All right, Chirpy, time for your first flying lesson. Never mind the funny looks. Just do what I do, okay? <laughs> You're not helping either. <laughs> Sorry, but you look so funny. <laughs> First, you gotta flap your wings. Up, down, up, down. Then you gotta get up a little speed. Flap, speed, flap, speed. Get it? Come on, like this. Follow me. Flap, speed, flap, speed, flap, huh? You're supposed to be watching me. <laughs> I'm really sorry, George. Don't get your feathers in a flap. I have a better idea. Anytime you're ready, George. Just a second. I've got to find a way to get Chirpy's attention. This'll do. That's right. Come get the wormy. That's it. Up here. Flap your wings. See? You can do it. But I can't. Where's Chirpy? Where's Chirpy? Ugh. I wondered if Dash Smasher ever had these problems. How are we going to get Chirpy back to his nest? Nothing we've tried has worked. And I can't think of anything else. How about you? Ditto. Too bad being a member of the Space Pioneers is harder than it looks. Sorry, Chirpy, but I guess you need the real Space Pioneers. You know, I've never seen Dash Smasher give up. Yeah, he always has another plan. He come up with some brilliant scheme, just like that. Hey! What's up? Me and the chick. 
right to the nest. All I need is some twine and a sand pail. I think I've got those at my house. I can run and get them. But what about Sparkle Tangerine? I can handle her. I know, but just in case. Come on, Chirpy. You should be safe up here. Hurry back. Time for Hyperdrive! Hey, don't worry about us. The space pioneers never give up, right, Chirpy? <gasps> this is no time for fast food. <laughs> It was just like episode 27, the attack of the hungry Reds Knot. Dash Smasher had Borley and jump boots, and all I had was a pair of sneakers. There you are. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh! George. Now, what did you need that twine for? Give me a sec to catch my breath and I'll show you. <sighs> I had to get that bird back if it was the last thing I ever did. And if my idea didn't work, it probably would be the last thing I ever did. All aboard the Bucket Express! Next stop, home! Things were going so well, I thought the bird would be home in no time. In fact, I started to miss him already. Whoa! We're stuck! I know. I know, I know, but she's pulling as hard as she can. Whoa! Becky! I see her! Smasher is saved from the treacherous Sparkle Tangerine by the flying blue Yakloon from Planet Boonbok. Or the Big Mama Bird from Castle Shrinks. It feels good, doesn't it? You mean saving Chirpy? Yeah. You know, I think we make a great team. I think so too. When my parents said we were moving, I was worried about making new friends. But I'm not worried anymore. Friends? Friends. George? Oh, hello there. Mom, this is Becky. She just moved in next door. Hi, Mrs. Strinks. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Becky. Are you a member of the Space Pioneers, too? You bet! Did you find aliens to defeat and princesses to rescue? Not exactly. 
we found something even better. Well, how about I get some sandwiches and lemonade for the Hungry Space Pioneers, and then you can tell me all about it. Great! Sure. Well, with the baby bird back with its mom, it looked like our mission was a total success. And you know what? Even though no one was going to give me a medal or a parade, I still felt great. I guess being a hero isn't about all that stuff. Anyway, this is George Shrinks of the Space Pioneers, signing off. <laughs>